Hi, Anya. I love your show. It is so great. And I have to tell you, I was walking through a store last week and I passed this when I was going through the magazine section. Have you seen this? No. Not every show gets this treatment. Like, this is amazing. At what point when you were filming the first season, did you realize it was going to be such a huge hit? Oh, um, I don't think that even entered my head that it was going to be a hit. I knew that it had had a big fandom and that's not because I don't support the show at all. It's just I was in my own world. Um, I didn't really want to think about that part. It's usually when I'm at the premieres of the, this show that I'm kind of struck by the fandom and the amount of people who love and respect the show. So I'm not usually a fan of period of, of fantasy pieces, but I, I was hooked totally by the end of the first episode. What is it about The Witcher that is, it just appeals to so many people? Well, it's not only got all the fantastical elements that kind of make a fantasy show uh, an escapism for so many people, but it's really, um, it's got family at the heart of it. It's got a dysfunctional family at the heart of it. Um, there are three quite distinctive characters who are destined for each other, orphans who are destined for each other. And they are constantly meeting a challenge, a threat in this world, which changes them as people. And I think you can really relate to a lot of the situations in The Witcher. The moment I saw your character, Yennefer, I was so intrigued at where her storyline was going to go. What qualities do you love best about Yennefer? I like her survival instinct. I love her fearlessness, um, her commitment, her magnetism, her stubbornness. I just love playing her. I think she's got so much of everything and she's so, despite the kind of how stubborn she is to, to, to like want to change, she constantly has to adapt, which I suppose it is a, you know, a, a change that she does meet. Um, but she's, she's, I think at the end of the season, we find her ready to go on a, a bigger um, change. For the second season, was it a relief that all the timelines were in proper order? <laughs> yeah, well, I hope it's a relief to the audience. <laughs> I mean, for us, it's the same because of the, we're not, we don't shoot in consecutive order really. Um, we try to, but we don't kind of achieve that the whole way through, especially with COVID. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's always easier when you get, you know, what's happened before and then you get to, you know, do the next scene after that. Do you get the script for each episode one at a time or do you get them all at once so that you can see what's coming up? Oh, it depends. We usually get them ooh, an episode at a time. I mean, it's been two years since we made the second season. It's, yeah, we usually get them in consecutive order, the, the episodes. We don't necessarily get them in bulk. Jennifer and Gerald are such an amazing team and you guys have such great chemistry, you and Henry. What does he like to work with? He's lovely. Um, he's the best kind of Geralt I could have asked for in terms of coming on to, you know, his baptism of fire of season one for, for me and filming and playing Yennefer. He um, was incredibly enthusiastic about The Witcher, which kind of is so exciting to be around on set. But he's also just a very professional leader and um, we all need him. What are the differences between Henry, Henry's personality and Geralt's personality? Because I heard that when Henry is dressed as Geralt, or at least at first, even his dog didn't recognize him. Yeah, I think I started that rumor <laughs> last season. <laughs> I know, th I think, because uh, the, the, um, Cal did <laughs> kind of struggle a little bit when Henry was initially in his costume. Um, but he's, you know, the kind of Henry's whole energy and aura is still the same as Geralt's. And that's why he fits so beautifully into the part. This was filmed in so many beautiful locations. Which has been your favourite so far? Well, it would have to be last season because we didn't get the opportunity with COVID this season to travel. 
um, it have to be the whole uh, tra um, portal scene that Yennefer goes on in episode four of season one. Canary Islands. Sorry. Oh, Canary Islands. Okay, yeah, beautiful. Um, so in this season, you get to ride horseback. Is this something that you had experience with before? No. Oh, well, I, 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 I did last season as well, and I struggled, to be honest. I love horses, and I wanted to be a great horse rider because I've heard they're intelligent animals. Well, they are intelligent animals, and they, um, they respond to your confidence and um, uh, kind of energy. And uh, I... I struggle riding a horse or controlling a horse rather. I'm, very, I'm quite fearless, fearless when it comes to being on a horse and um, considering I've never really ridden before. But yeah, I, I, it's something I'd love to do more and learn. I'd love to learn more about them as creatures and kind of understand them so it's not as cerebral. Did you get some lessons on the set? Because you looked pretty natural. I oh, okay. Yeah, I did. I got lessons um, the first season and the second, yeah. Now in the show, you, your eyes are like a beautiful violet color. So you and Henry both have to wear contacts. And I heard that he had some eye irritation in the first season because he had to wear them so often. Has that been a problem for you? Like how you know, I, difficult is it to wear them all the time? I had a problem on season one of the first day of shooting. So I, um, I had a uh, director called Alec on the first, first episode of the first season. And he, I went up to him and said, I can't work like this. I can't, um, the only thing I can trust in this process with everything that's going on and, and kind of how huge this all is, is my eyes and seeing people to kind of react to you know, and have confidence in um, if I doubted myself and having contacts really prevented that for me. So um, we decided from that moment on that we would use them for shots that kind of required that cut to match the color for post. And then um, I would have them out for the rest of the time, which works well for us. Oh, that's fantastic. I, I can't imagine having to wear contacts like at all. Yeah. Um, so you and Freya, don't don't really have any scenes at all together in the first season and then you uh, I mean eventually meet up in the second one but did you meet when you were doing table reads or something because you three are the main characters in it yeah we we do we do one table read um at the beginning of a season and it's usually the first few episodes um Freya and I developed a trust in Budapest in the first season we um Freya was 17 at the time and so we connected quite a bit we were both going through the same thing and kind of no one would experience what we did together so we bonded over that sh um, for sure and it was just exciting this season to get to work with her. This comes from um, a series of books but they don't follow the books too too closely I mean they take some artistic license which is fantastic I just I just think the show is such a a, a work of art and I'm wondering since they don't stick to the books too closely what would you like to see happen with Yennefer in a third season? Oh, um, I'd really like to see her relationship with Siri develop. I think the fans know that that's where we're headed. And um, I would like to see that. I don't know. I have no idea what's happening in season three, but um, that would be an interesting thing to play. And do you know when it's filming? No, no, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know much. Oh, but it's definitely been renewed for a third oh, season. It's definitely being renewed. It would be, it would, yeah, probably be early next year. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Love the show and love your work in it. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel or if you're returning and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, tap it now plus the notification bell in the right hand corner so that you make sure you don't miss out on any new celebrity interviews. While you're at it, hit the like button. And tell me below in the comments, who's your favorite star? Who would you like to see me interview next? I'd love to hear from you.